Hi everyone. In this short video, I want to describe how a hole in the side of an insulated cavity or oven can be used to imitate an ideal black body. But first of all, some revision. When light is incident on an object, well, the object can reflect the light away. Alternatively, the object can transmit the light through, or the light might be absorbed by the object, and that light energy might become kinetic energy in the particles of the object. In addition to what happens when light falls onto an object, an object will also release light in the form of electromagnetic radiation, depending upon its temperature and a physical property called emissivity. Emissivity is a measure of how efficiently an object absorbs and radiates electromagnetic light. Emissivity will be a value between 0 and 1, where 0 is a completely inefficient absorption and emission of radiation. An object with 0 emissivity would reflect all the light incident on it and also have no ability to radiate light. At the other end of the scale, a body with an emissivity of 1 is a perfect absorber and emitter of radiation. An ideal black body would have an emissivity of 1. An ideal black body will only allow light to be absorbed or emitted. It would not reflect light. In nature, stars are the closest approximation we have to an ideal black body. For the study of black bodies in the laboratory, we can imitate them using an insulated cavity with a small hole in its side. The hole allows light to enter into the cavity. Once it's inside the cavity, it's trapped within the cavity. It will reflect around the inside of the cavity. With each reflection, a little bit of the light will be absorbed by the walls of the cavity, and eventually, all of the light will be absorbed by the walls. This increases the temperature of the walls of the cavity. It increases the temperature of the cavity. While all this is happening, the walls of the cavity will emit electromagnetic radiation, as all things do. The mix of wavelengths emitted by the walls will be dependent upon the temperature of the walls. This radiation will fill the cavity with that electromagnetic radiation emitted by the walls, which is dependent upon the temperature of the walls. And some of this electromagnetic radiation will be able to escape through the hole to be examined. With this arrangement, we can see that light is absorbed by the hole with 100% efficiency. Any light incident on the hole will pass through the hole. It will not be reflected. The hole does not reflect light. Equally, the hole emits light with a perfect efficiency. The mix of light emitted is dependent upon the temperature of the cavity only. Because of this, the hole can be thought of as an imitating a black body. The light emitted from the hole can be observed, it can be dispersed with a prism, and it can be measured for intensity at each wavelength present. This provides the black body curve that we've been studying. 